Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Strong Style Studios. Today we will be talking about our little excursion to Dearborn, Michigan, where we watched Ring of Honor in action for the first time in, well, we went to the Chicago show yes. last year. It was the first time being back in Michigan since 2011. Yeah, so it had been a while since they were here. Um, it was a good crowd turnout, I felt. I um, big that. crowd. Very good. Yeah. 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 And um, overall, I thought it was... Pretty good show. I had a good time. Yeah. You guys, good time. Great time, yeah. Nigel was there. Simon, not, uh, not Dean, we've there. got that sign. Mm, we, got, got, we got front row seats. So yes. We had yeah. thanks, to, thanks for my hookup. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> 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 Want to give a shout out? Oh, yeah. Uh, my, my buddy Tommy. Uh, I'll put his Twitter handle in the uh, description. You know, he was a good guy. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah, thanks thank you, Tommy. Bro. He's a Coca Cabana fan, so you, you know he's a good guy. So, yeah, he's yeah. got to yeah. be. Yeah. yeah. I also got to meet Michael Elgin. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He didn't like the fact I was wearing a Roddy shirt. Well, you know. I guess you have to fight him. <laughs> right. What are the white flag of that guy? Holy shit. So, do uh, you just want to run through the matches and talk about them a little bit? Or sure. Yeah, anything we'll else you want to hit before we go into the actual I, I want to talk, I'll, I actually, I want to say real quick. Like, they had a pre-show thing with some uh, local guys from Truth. Truth is over the motherfucker in Detroit. Oh, yeah, he's so, he, and he's, he was just having fun. He, 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 yeah. he, was, he, was just, he was just jerking off, you know, he's having a good he was, time. He was, yeah. yeah, he was, you know, jacking with the fans. Yeah, and, he's mm -hmm. doing a spin of Rudy. It's like, he was, yeah. oh yeah, that was great. <laughs> I remember, uh, he yeah, like I like one guy, I think it was Tommy actually right next to me like hey true why don't you sell your book at the, at the merchandise stand like it's too expensive like I got money and like I'm like I got money it's like give me a twenty just like I, started, yeah. I actually started reaching my wallet he walked away so I was kind of disappointed yeah <laughs> he made the pre-show match oh he was more funny. tolerable because yeah. it was, it was oh and good. another thing uh, for this show they did change the setup uh, yeah uh, for the Dearborn mm -hmm. show the entrance was off to the right side instead mm -hmm. of right straight ahead as you walk in mm. and uh, they did change the lights uh, yeah uh, I well, think they went discount on the lights yeah, the, light, uh, <laughs> yeah. the lights were first too, too damn bright and then for, during the Elgin and Rhino match one of them mm. started fucking up and like doing like a it was like a rave yeah like a techno like a rave, disc yeah. club and so they had to turn it off mm. so it was kind of dark on one side so Hopefully they can fix that, fix that in post or something. Yeah, they should. But uh, but next time, let's get the the old lights. Those were much yeah. better. Yeah. You know, I don't but, know. If, I don't know. If the, I don't know if like the the tech guy that ran the fort center was on a vacation over that week, but whatever, man, just, it was bad. Yeah. Well, that was one of the few. That was the only tech. Guy yeah. I mean, no, no real really. problem at all. Um, it had a nice. I thought the show had a nice feel to it. Didn't it? Didn't feel like you know. Um, for a while there, our weight shows seemed to be. Really feeling like a house show, yeah. you know, and not important. This show at least felt like build you know, there was, up. Yeah, there was effort, there was storyline advancement. Um, mm -hmm. it, it felt like the show mattered, which yeah, is what they need right. to do exactly. with the house shows. Because it used to be that every house show, it's like you have to buy this to see what happens because they would have title defenses, they would have big matches. Mm -hmm. And um, they had a couple big matches on this show. so yes. Two in particular, I think. Yeah. So, um, anyway, the first match was um, BJ Whitmer teaming with Rhett Titus to take on the team of Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Do they have a name yet? Um, I, thought I, they, I thought they had some kind of name there. For, I don't know. Somebody, I read somewhere they called themselves Red Dragon. I yeah. Call, that's what I heard. Okay. I, they, I don't they, know they, if they're actually using they the name. I don't think they made it official yet, yet, but okay. So what did you guys think of this opening match? Uh, I thought it was a good match. I thought I I liked um, I like how Bobby Fish and Kyle Riley are working as a team. I think they're doing very well. Um, still not too hot on BJ Whitman and Rhett Titus working together because I think uh, I think Rhett could be doing doing more. I think BJ could be doing more. So I, it, just, it seems like they're both being kind of held back working as a team personally. But um, I thought it was a good match. You know, I told it. You know, it worked. Um, good opener. Got the crowd mm -hmm. going. Uh, you know, Bobby Fish uh, yelling at the crowd was great. I mean, yeah, that was funny. He, he has he has a little bit of Austin Aries in him, I think. You <laughs> he's know? definitely got some charisma that I didn't he's, know. About. He's got some charisma. Yeah, yeah he, he can uh, he can he can uh, you know get the crowd going against him as well as the other guy. And uh, I think him working with Kyle will help Kyle a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, good match. Uh, nothing really spectacular, but just you mm -hmm. know, solid. Yeah, good showing. Good showing for both teams. I thought. Um, I thought. I don't want to single a guy out, but I, I just didn't think Titus has been looking that good lately. Like, um, he just seems a little off. Like, I think his injuries set him back. Quite yeah, a bit. his his injury um, got it. Whit, I think Whitmer Whitmer looked good to me. Like, he's um, he's kind of carrying the team right now. Hopefully, Titus will get back to his old self, though. It's just yeah. a matter of time. Hopefully, right. um, I do really like this team of um, Fish and O'Reilly, and they're kind of newly formed, so they have a lot of potential. Um, I I thought this yeah I thought this was a good opener it got me into the show um, delivered about what you'd expect from it some nice nice pace to it um, 
should we say the results or leave it? Uh, no, we'll leave it. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it. it. You know, we'll, 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 we'll talk about the ones that DVD we'll talk about the ones that matter. You know, and then okay. we'll put them. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought this was a good match. Good opener. I think mm -hmm. this was right where it belonged on the card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think as for uh, Titus and BJ, they're they're both decent. Uh, I, I agree with what you said about Titus. He's he seems to be struggling a little bit. Um, He's just a little sloppy. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, I feel like these two guys. Uh, as a team, I don't know if they're ever going to really work, just because I feel like they each are the kind of guy that kind of needs a more athletic guy to cover up their mm -hmm. yeah. their faults. They're, they're the same. And I like BJ more as a singles guy. Too. Yeah, yeah, I, I do too. I, I get what you're saying. Like they're both, they're both kind of like you know the kind of the stronger guys. You know, right. like, they 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 hold the same position in a mm -hmm. tag team. You know, they yeah. I yeah. get what you're saying. I mean, I I would definitely see Titus in him. I think he could do well in a better tag team. Like mm. you know. Okay. Match two. Um, match two was Jay and Carino. Yeah, it was Jay Lethal versus Steve Carino. Um, what do you guys think of this match? You want to start this one out? If you want me to? Uh, I, yeah, I'll go ahead. I thought this was a fun match. Um, mm -hmm. These guys both can work together really well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about as much as I expected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this is, was fun, and I, I thought Carino did a great job playing with the crowd. You oh know? yeah, he he's was great. always such a character, and he's mm -hmm. yelling at people, yeah. and yeah. He, Direct looked right at me and gave me the finger, and I just <laughs> I loved it. That's just, it's just fun. Can, can I talk about the, what he did? What he yelled at me, whatever. Or, yeah. Okay. So, for those of you who don't know, Jay Lethal was very famous for TNA for doing the very, very, very well done Macho Man impersonation, the Black mm -hmm. Machismo. So, in a you know comical fashion, I yelled, at him, "Come on, Jay, do it for the Macho Man!" And Steve Perino looked right at me and yells, "Macho Man's." Dead. Yeah. The whole crowd shit themselves. I think just <laughs> yeah. they lost it, and like, and then Lethal just goes berserk, beats the shit out of him. And uh, I actually did like how he used the Macho Man elbow at the end. Mm -hmm. I don't, like, I'm like wondering if that was planned or if they like they just like we gotta do the Macho Man elbow now. It's like so. <laughs> if 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 that was an audible call for doing that, kudos to that. But um, I like the match. I thought it was, I thought it, it was there for the story of Jay Lethal uh, going up against Scene eventually. Mm -hmm. So in that case, it worked. And uh. Carino doing the promo beforehand and just, you know, kind of like trying to, still trying to convince Lethal to like, you know, you know, for, say sorry for all this shit. Like, I don't get that. Like, I, I don't understand that, like, why he's trying to make him say sorry. And it's like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't get that part of it. I get, you know, I get he's just him being a heel, but like. Well, he's doing it just to get at it. I know. You know? Yeah. Because, obviously, he shouldn't apologize. Yeah, I, mean, I, I know. I know. It's just him. I, I, getting under his head. I know, I guess. But uh, I did like the fact that like he uh, he just was insulting the crowd, you know, like unlike the people here in Dearborn, mm -hmm. Jay, you were raised with morals and just, you know, it's like that. Okay. Yeah. Um you know, I like to for you know, second match, a lot of times the second match is kind of a one of the throwaway matches. But yeah. this was solid. Um I liked the contrast of styles. Um you got the King of Old School versus a very athletic G Lethal. Mm -hmm. Um I thought it, they worked pretty well together. Um yeah. it, um it was just kind of a solid match. I yeah. mean, no, no, it nothing delivered what it, what I hoped. Nothing special, but it, it built the storyline. Mm -hmm. Good. Match number three, we saw Roderick Strong versus Silas Young. Sporting a very nice mustache, yes. by the way. Yes, he <laughs> yes, was. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys I, I thought it was good. I thought, for, for me personally, I think St Silas Young didn't get that much offense in. You know, mm -hmm. he, he looked good, but like he didn't he didn't really shine. I thought. Except for like that that little finishing sequence at the end where he um, hit the Finley roll into the you know the, the springboard moonsault he did, yeah. which is cool. Uh, but you know I think Rod Roderick was just running running through the grinder man. He yeah. Roderick was chopping the shit out of his yeah. chest. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, and it was kind of interesting that Roderick was playing the face since he's the heel even though. But like you know, crowd really didn't like Silas Young and Silas Young didn't really like them. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I did hear his match with Adam Cole the next night was better, so hopefully, I, I, I do like Sil Silas Young, I think he's a very, very gifted wrestler, and I think he's a, you know, kind of different kind of wrestler, you know, he's, a, he's not a, he's he's not your, he looks like a big man, but he's, he's not your average indie guy, yeah, exactly, he's been on the indies as long as he has, yeah, yeah. and I think it can bring some good to the table for our way, so hopefully he gets a spot, but uh, I like this match, I, th I thought it was just, you know, it was just kind of there, it didn't really have uh, a purpose, mm -hmm. but it was just, make. It, I think it was like there to make Strong look good leading into tomorrow night's match. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, it was solid. Um, I don't know if Silas, he just looked a little bit off. He was a little mm -hmm. bit sloppy, a little bit clunky. Um, yeah. I don't know, his footwork maybe it was, his footwork was off. But uh, I was hoping he'd have a better showing. Because yeah, me too. I yeah. know he's a talented guy, and I know mm -hmm. he's he's been on the Indies for so long. 
and it, it was just unfortunate that it didn't come across and and but it was good it was good yeah it was a decent match yeah well what i thought was kind of off about the matches it seemed like he didn't at times didn't seem to have a plan of what he was going to do next like three four moves ahead it was mm -hmm. just kind of just didn't feel like he had a game plan game plan i guess mm -hmm. um but yeah Roddy looked good as always um it was just a fun, fun match. Always fun to watch Roddy chop the shit up. <laughs> yeah, <somebody>, right. So, <laughs> Rod, Roddy's, Roddy, Roddy's. I, I always like when Roddy's out there having fun. You can tell yeah. him, he's, yeah. having, you know. Yeah, it was more lighthearted Roddy yeah. match. So, and he gave him one of the hardest. Chip. I'll be honest. That's how the whole event really filled. It was really lighthearted. Everybody seemed to be having fun. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, know. you just sensed like the guys were just more like easygoing, like less less tense. It seemed like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, Which is and, nice because it seems like ROH was too tense for a while because there was a lot of stuff going on. A lot of bullshit in the people, background. Yeah, right. a lot of politics so, and stuff going on. Glad so. to see, yeah, and it also, uh, I, we forgot to mention, um, like I think I think just having Kevin Kelly and Nigel out there for doing commentary really helped too. That's like, gonna help. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you know I, I think like I think that helped make it just feel more lighthearted and like you know and like they're mm -hmm. out there having a good time. Mm -hmm. Okay, next we had for the ROH World Championship we had um, Tadarius Thomas. Dearborn Zone. I think he's actually from Detroit, he's but from Detroit. tonight he was built. That night he was built from Dearborn, taking on Mr. Wrestling Kevin Steen. Um, what'd you guys think of this? Um, it was good. I mean, Steen was very entertaining. Oh given yes. That. Um, when you when this match came out at this point in the card, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it, everyone knew who was going to win. I mean, everybody knew going in. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, Tadarius, he's very, still very, I don't know, I don't want to say green, but he just, he didn't fit. His, his, his offense is so unique and so different that it takes a special kind of guy to work with him, I think, and to make him look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he needs to, I do think he needs to adapt a little yeah. bit to vary his style, just because yeah. his style is all, like, kicks that come out of nowhere, yeah. kind of, and it's just, like, it, it, it's it, not really it, it, realistic. It look, right. How is he going to dominate matches? Yeah, that's yeah. what I wonder. So, I mean, it made for a lot of, like, cool, like, quick little spots within the match. Like, yeah. hey, get a quick kick in on Steen, and Steen would sell it pretty well. So, mm -hmm. it'd be like, you'd, you'd start to think maybe, like, you know, he's com being competitive. But Steen definitely controlled the oh, match. Yeah. And Although, um, Tadarius hitting the tire driver on Steen, that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah or was it was the tire great. suplex? Sorry. Tire suplex, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, was but impressive. Steen was definitely the highlight of this match. Like, he was just having mm -hmm. so much fun out there. He was ribbing on him. What did he call his uh, his fighting style? The Capit Barra, whatever. Ken Patera. <laughs> Ken Patera. Steve was out there having fun, yeah. like you know, and like he insists on being billed from not from Dearborn. Just mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it was just it was a classic scene, and uh, he whipped him in the barricade, like right in, like right in front of Broke us. The he, he, he bent the fuck out of him, man. I think so. Mm -hmm. He was definitely giving a uh, Titus or a uh, Thomas a, a run. Oh like, yeah, he, he was hit, he was giving him some hellacious chops oh, and yeah. kicks yeah. and stuff too. Um, I'll say right now though, Tom, like Tadarius Thomas, like he looked, you know, he got the classic baby face, you know, like oh underdogs thing going, but really it was Steen that kind of carried this match and just made mm -hmm. it more entertaining. Like it, it was not a squash match entirely, but uh, mm -hmm. it was a it was an entertaining match for for just Steen being, you know, Steen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we had intermission and we got back from intermission and we were welcomed by um, two. <laughs> Very skinny looking Tiny. gentlemen. Two, two guys that looked like one of them they was had... built at one ten, I think. And I was God. like, "That's ungodly skinny for two, two guys that looked like man that would make Ke uh, Machine Gun Kelly look like a fucking muscle builder." Yeah. Um, Just... So these two guys come out and they act like they're gonna have a match, and then Charlie Haas comes out and interrupts and just says, "Case I'm full of beer." Case full of beer, acting like Stone Cold Steve Austin, <laughs> throwing up, completely the ripping off Stone Cold Steve. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Completely. Yeah. It, it's a good, it was a good rip off, I'll say right now. Yeah, I mean, it was entertaining just like for that being there. I think it might get old pretty fast, yeah. just for my um, opinion. But um, he just ends up taking on both these guys and just completely kicking their ass. It was, it was entertaining. Yeah, it was, was short. It was harmless. It was um, the most entertaining I've been by a Charlie Haas match in a long time. Which is kind of sad, but yeah, that's, that's what's been going on. The only thing I'm afraid of is that because the, the crowd reacted the way they did, that means we're going to see more yeah. of actual Charlie Haas's Yeah, he matches. did get a lot of heel heat. Yeah. Oh, dude, there was a guy like across the way from us that was just yelling constantly, fuck you, Charlie. And like, mm -hmm. Charlie spilled some beer on him. And like, I thought that was pretty funny. But, uh, he had Pong beer with him. And I don't <laughs> know what that, that no, is. Me neither. Never. Um, I, did, I did like the fact that he, he really ripped into Dearborn. Like, Dearborn's a very, 
Arabic. You like that? I thought that was no. I, I I was just saying he ripped into him a lot. Yeah. Like he's like you know a very Arabic community, and he was ripping the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah, that was some nine eleven. Little, 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 little too offensive, but uh, you know, it was I, cheap, the, cheap heat. Yeah, but the crowd, the crowd was laughing at it. If anything else, you know, they weren't you know getting in the heat. Was, they were thinking it was funny, you know, mm -hmm. and in a, in a little in a way it was, but just like okay, come on, you know, don't you know, yeah, you, it's you're, just Charlie House is a little bit. I think Charlie House is a little bit above like the cheap bullshit heat, you know. Oh, well, he can't really that. get any heat otherwise. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's not much of a heat man. Uh, do him doing the hoss of pain on both guys at once. That, that was, was that was impressive. I'll give him that. I actually preferred the uh, belly to belly to both guys. Oh yeah, that was yeah. that was fun. Yeah. yeah. The only thing is, it's not that impressive when yeah when they're, <laughs> the guys you know, are the size, size of mannequins. Of, right. It's like throwing around sacks of potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably, probably smaller. Yeah. But um, anyway, next we had Jimmy Jacobs versus Adam Cole, which is a match we were all very much looking forward to going into this, hoping this would deliver. And. It did. It did. It sure Holy did. shit, man! Mm, this might have been the might have been the best match on the card. Uh, I think it was for me. This was match of the night, just I, probably I, because I, we, I this, had those expectations. Between this yeah. and the main, yeah, um, hard, hard to choose. I um, I guess I'll just start talking about matches since I haven't yet. <laughs> um, what I liked about this match was um, it allowed Jimmy Jacobs to show off his actual wrestling ability, which he doesn't get to do enough. Yeah, he like agree. He, he he proved to me that this guy actually has a lot of technical wrestling ability. Mm -hmm. He um, Jimmy can still go. Yeah, and he also um, it's just a nice contrast of you know you got like the pretty boy Adam Cole versus Jimmy Jacobs the like, the zombie the, princess the, the scum like, of, of Ring of Honor wants to right? destroy his beauty basically. Yeah, <laughs> and um, he wants to destroy something beautiful. Yeah, and um, I don't know it was just it was a surprisingly good wrestling match. Yeah. Like I expected it to be a good like storytelling match, and it was that, but. I was surprised by the wrestling quality. It had it was exciting. Had some good um, near uh, false finish sequences. Mm -hmm. It got really exciting towards the end. And um, this match, totally like I expected it to be a good match, but it was actually a little better than I thought it was yeah. going to be. Um, this match for me just this justifies going on and buying the show, or, or at least checking it out. Mm -hmm. This match was incredible. I mean, they start out very nicely with a nice technical wrestling match, nice back and forth. The crowd was very respectful, and then. They kicked it into high gear, and these guys have some great countering sequences. Like these guys work very, very well together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Jimmy going for the end times and Adam Cole countering it back and forth was awesome. Yeah, the contra co code on the apron was just insane and just really painful looking. And the the finishing sequence was great. I mean, you know, the the spear that uh, Adam Cole countered this just kicked him right in the face. Just mm -hmm. awesome. Although the, the, I will say right now, though, the best part of this match. Was uh, I think it was Jimmy Jacobs getting his gum kicked out of his mouth and landing on the microphone at ringside, yeah. and Steve Carino losing his mind, yeah, yeah. disgusted by it. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, and Jimmy also kissed Adam Cole in the mouth. Yeah, yeah this is pretty funny. Yeah, it did have some classic Jimmy Jacobs. It, it, it was it was so. it was Jimmy it was the Jimmy Jacobs of old that Jimmy Jacobs we liked to see, and like it was nice to see, a nice breath of fresh air for Jimmy to get a nice. This moment. was the best singles match I've seen Jacobs have in a while, just because he doesn't get too many chances to really show that he no, can I, wrestle. I, I, I agree. He's in a lot of feuds where they're all story mm -hmm. and stuff, and he's in a lot of matches where he's like a tag. He's in a lot of tag yeah. matches and stuff. Yeah. This he was able to show his stuff and oh, show he, 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 he brought his A game tonight. He, he, he had a fire under his ass for sure. Mm -hmm. the, yes, like you guys said, this was a great match. Mm -hmm. um, I think that what I was most impressed about was that this match was kind of in a tough spot. Uh, it came in right after intermission. Mm -hmm. The crowd was, they had, they were just tired out after the well, first after half. The intermission yeah. and Haas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we they were quiet and uh, they had the job of getting us back into it, and that's a tough job. And and they started off slow, and. You didn't know where it was going to go, and then they just kept building it and building it, and people started buying in, and the crowds just went nuts oh, by yeah. the end. Terrible. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I really loved about this match is that that's you can tell when someone's a good wrestler is when they go out there and they make the crowd care because the crowd really didn't. I mean, a lot of people probably didn't know Adam Cole. Oh, in that crowd right off the, off the top. So. Yeah, there, there was a few guys behind us that were really giving Adam Cole some shit, and so that guy, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and also, fuck you to the guy. Like, can I can I talk about the guy that was behind us before, before it was back? Like, the, we, we we were in the front row. Oh, who cares? And yeah, who cares? I, I, I want to vent. Okay. This guy, this oh, like we we, kept, we were standing up applauding, you know, the wrestlers when they came out, and this guy's like, sit the fuck down. It's like, buy better seats, asshole. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, whoever that guy is, who, yeah. I'm sure he's watching out there. I hope so. Fuck you. <laughs> there. 
Alright. Arch Arch Hand, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Alright. Next <laughs> next we had the rhinoceros. No, we had Rhino <laughs> versus Michael Elgin, a battle of two guys who are just about two, exactly the same size. Two yes. monsters, man. Very strong guys. Stout. <laughs> Low center of gravity. Boom. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rhino was over as hell here. Because yes, he was. Yeah. yeah. I have like I have never seen Rhino this over. I didn't expect it. I no. Mean, I know he's from Detroit and he's from Dearborn. Yeah. But. Apparently he's he, like oh. he's a big uh, like a lot of the local boomers. He's, he's like the champion. Like he's like a lot of people go out to see just him. But he got the bi- I think he probably got the biggest pop of the night, probably. One of them. Yeah, it, probably. Yeah. yeah. Maybe second best, but... Uh, but, I mean, it was definitely, definitely pro-Rhino. And Elgin was hugely over with El- yeah. I was, I, I was think, supporting Elgin, but I felt yeah. like I was one of, like, three guys. I think, I think, uh, I think people weren't so much <laughs> pro- yeah. or negative Elgin. They were just really pro-Rhino. Like, I think yeah. people liked Elgin, but they just really wanted Rhino to win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, this was a good match, too. Um... I I didn't like the fact that like they did the whole bra the ass all all yeah. around the whole venue. It went on too long. Because like you know it's like oh I uh, can't see what the fuck's going on nothing, over there. It wasn't anything. They didn't do anything. Happened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I mean like it was just to get the Dearborn crowd. Yeah, and, and it did. Yeah. And it was fun. Um, just you know, and really good match. Uh, just two really big guys going at it, and uh, they did some good power moves. They actually ripped the fucking ring mat. Yeah. Yeah. Which kind of sucked for them. Yeah. That that, that, that sucks for the main event. Mm-hmm. Uh, but oh, and uh, Rhino got slammed. Him, got slammed in the garbage and hit my knee, which that kind of hurt a lot. <laughs> but uh, good match. Uh, did a good job of uh, making Elgin look like a tough guy, which he really is. And uh, yeah, you know, so kudos to that. So it's a good um, bigger guy match. Yeah. Which, as for me, I I thought this was probably the worst match on the card. Um, I actually think so too. I, I, I the it was thing, in, but. the whole crowd brawling thing was. It took away from it. Also. Um, like we mentioned earlier, the lights were going haywire, so that was yeah. really, yeah. really distracting. Yeah, that, that, that was a distraction, uh, for sure. But I just didn't think that this really did much for Elgin. Um, mm-hmm. It wasn't... It, just the match itself, I mean, it just didn't... He was fun. expected to win. He, uh, so, yeah. yeah, I mean, it just didn't... They did, they did, they did have that one good fall. There wasn't match. a lot going on in the match, it felt like. Okay, just, yeah. Was, I can see that. Yeah, it just kind of felt... It felt very house show-ish to me. Yeah, but it, was, it wasn't bad. No. It was a, it was a local hometown guy, you know, and, and yeah. it, you know, but that's kind of how Elgin's matches go. When he gets led by a veteran, it seems like it's it, his matches are aren't that good. No, remember the Finley match? Yeah, because it just kind of reminds me like people. I don't know. It's I don't know if he doesn't stand up for himself in the ring. Or I something, think it's but, possible. Who knows? But anyway. Yeah, and then we got to the main event, which was the match I think people were most excited for. It, was, it, it sold the ticket for me. That's for yeah. Sure. Yes. The um. The ROH tag team titles were defended by the Briscoes against the American Wolves. Folks, you want to say what you uh, thought of this match? Uh, this was a very good match. Um, mm-hmm. What you would come to expect from these two teams. Mm-hmm. I mean, nothing you haven't seen before, nothing blow away, but yeah. very good match. Yeah. Uh, Delivered. Send, yeah, send the crowd home happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just a lot of fun. Uh, like we mentioned before, the ring was falling to pieces like, the, yeah, most like of the time the, the, I thought someone might even get hurt yeah, yeah it, it definitely like uh, there was a few parts like where I think Eddie and Mark like both looked like they slipped it at one point mm-hmm. and so like, they definitely had to be careful but like I don't think any botched them but like it definitely looked like they had to like like okay it's there be aware and, right. uh, something so. bad could have happened because it was almost the entire ring yeah like it was like split like right down the middle like the, the, mm-hmm. the mat covering the ring mm-hmm. so um, yeah it, very dangerous could have, you know some like I think of a if it hadn't have been the Briscoes and the Wolves in there, I think someone like less experienced uh, might have gotten hurt, or at least, or at least botched. Yeah. yeah, by it. But yeah, I thought this match just deli- they just went out there to have a, like really like good, athletic, exciting match, yeah. and that's what they did. It wasn't like much of a storytelling match really. They just it was just kind of a um, an exposition of uh, what these guys can do, mm-hmm. and it was. Uh, exciting start to finish. Um, yeah. Very fun. Yeah. Send me home happy. Um, I, I liked uh, Davey and Mark doing the uh, the chicken calls to each other or whatever yeah. at one point. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, it, it, the both all both guy teams went out there just had some fun. Mm-hmm. Crowd was into it. Uh, I think the crowd was a little dead at times. Like they were burnt out. A yeah, bit. I, exactly. They were burnt out. You know, you had like get, they went after a, a very mm-hmm. exciting match and then you know hometown guys, so they were burnt out. Uh, also, the the finish where Eddie kicked out, but the timekeeper rang the bell. Like that was kind of that kind of sucked, but see that, that I liked that. The okay, the, the, I liked it too. They actually except, got the crowd going, except nothing happened. Okay, except this past week on ROH TV, the, they did it again. 
Oh, really? So, and the timekeeper just keeps doing it. So uh, it, it, it just makes it seem bush league um, when they yeah. keep doing it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so, but on the show, I liked it. it, it I th okay, I'm over here my friend. Like, it, it, the crowd popped for the, the finish, and then it's like, oh, wait, it's not over. And then like then they hit the finish right away, and it's like, okay, the crowd didn't pop. If, yeah, if they had more after yeah. that and built more towards it, it would be better. But so. this was a really, this match was satisfying. Yeah, very um, satisfying. Of the show overall, there, there, there wasn't really anything like... Even on really good shows that we go to, sometimes there's one match that just sucks and we yeah. just want to be over. There was nothing like that right. other than maybe yeah, a absolutely. great show. But on the actual card, um, everything was at least solid. I had fun with... It, it blew by. The show yeah, was so yeah, fast. Yeah, we, were, like, we had a lot of fun watching the show. Which is good to see ROH back in... Um, Kicking ass. Yeah, back in the Detroit area and um, doing good house shows. One more thing I want to add to that is that... Uh, there, there looks to be some storyline advancement at the end of the show as uh, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Yes. Yeah, out we the forgot ring. about that. Like they're doing some scouting. Yep. Didn't I get would, involved. Didn't do a nope, distraction. I like that a lot. Yes, um, I like that also. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, I would not mind Bobby Fish or Kyle and Kyle O'Reilly as tag team champions down the road eventually. Yeah. Or I mean, having matches against either one of those teams. Oh, absolutely. Would be yeah, they they, very, they, 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 they had a match with the Wolves at final battle. That was yeah, very, very, very good. I'd like to see a rematch between those. But yeah. It's very nice to see uh, Davey and Eddie. Oh, and we forgot to mention like they were, they came back out in the American Wolves attire and like the jackets, and everything mm -hmm. looked very nice. And like, kind of missed a beat. Yeah, they, yeah. I, I love the American Wolves working together because it just you just get the feeling that they're just two guys out there having fun, and like you can just sense a different side of them in that. And when they're wrestling, it's like it's not so tense. It's more Eddie's, and like they, I think they just have better matches when they're like that. No, all right. Yeah, well, I think it covers it for this show. I mean, it was. Good show. Um, worth 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 buying. Um, I I'd say there's stuff definitely worth watching on this show. It's not like gonna be one of their you know top sellers. It's not like a must buy, but right. if you have the, the inclination, I'd say you wouldn't go wrong with buying it. I agree. Oh, wait, yeah. wait for a DVD sale, you know. Yeah. Right. But, but uh, you're definitely gonna want to see Jimmy Jacobs versus Adam Cole and um, the main. You're gonna want to see the main. That's very good. Um, I just like it's uh, a, the Cole and. Jacob's match is something different we're not used to seeing, yeah. in a, at least not in a long time. And, so. and it's just like a fun, if you just want a fun, easy to sit through yep. show, it, it's yeah. definitely that. Definitely. So. Yeah. I think that does it for this particular video. Thanks for watching. We are Strong Style Studios. See you next time. Bye.